What is up everybody? Happy New Year to all and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. There is a lot that we need to talk about so let's do this shall we? I want to tell you all about a tale. A tale that will be going on for many generations. A tale that we all hate and so much more. A tale about a year. A year which we all are so happy that it's over. That year and that tale is 2021. Now during that year, we had a lot of good and more bad happening in that year. And as it was coming to an end, we were all so happy for it. Yet 2021 came with a surprise attack that none of us were ready for. And during this attack, a hero arrives. Not a mortal, but a god. And this god was a queen, a national treasure, if you will. And this queen took 2021 down. And this hero will be ever, will be told so much for all of her brave Brave stories. That queen, her name was Betty White. I had you there for a minute, didn't I? I know, I know. You was like, that climax. All right, but yes, we have lost Betty White in 2021. And it sucks so freaking much, y'all. Like, seriously, we were so ready to go into 2022. Then all of a sudden, 2021 came out of nowhere and said, hey, surprise. I'm going, bro. Why? Betty White is a national treasure. She passed away at the age of 99. But we're going to say that she was 100 because she was only like shy a few days. So we're going to say she passed away at the age of 100. So I'm going to say that. And I know other people are going to say that as well. So she passed away at 100 years old. Now, Betty White, again, she was a national treasure. She was a golden girl. She was a sweetheart and loved by so many people in movies, film, so much more. And she was not afraid to be herself because she was awesome in so many ways. Matter of fact, you know, if people don't know this, but in 1954, Betty White had her own TV show and she rejected the pressure to stop featuring a tap dancer by the name of Arthur Davis on her show because he was black. Now, with all this happening, uh, they was like, no, nah, Betty, you gotta get him off, you know, people are not gonna be here for that. Betty said, I'm sorry, but you know, he stays. And she gave him more time on her show. Now, that show got canceled because of that, but still, she's amazing for doing that. And during that year, this was also when we saw the Supreme Court handling the Brown versus Board of Education decision, which banned segregated schools. So Betty White, she just, you know, she's just up there. She's a god. She's a queen. Okay. And the tap dancer, Arthur Duncan, went on to have a luscious uh, career in show business and gained fame for being the first black performer on the Lawrence uh, Welk show and so many more shows as well. They even did a reunion on Steve Harvey's show and it was just beautiful to see. Now, out of all of the athletes, cel uh, celebrities, and many more people who had kind words for Betty White, I think Ryan Reynolds, the actor, said it best. He said, the world looks different now. He said that she was great in defying uh, expectation. She managed to grow very old and somehow not old enough. We'll miss you, Betty. Now you know the secret. Again, Betty White is a national treasure and I loved her so much. So to Betty White, thank you for everything that you have done for this world. And thank you for being a friend. Now, social media isn't afraid to ban people for a lot of things. And when it comes to Twitter, they are not afraid to 
permanently ban uh, high U.S. politicians. Now, you're probably wondering, what am I talking about? Well, according to New York Times, Twitter has permanently banned uh, Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's personal account after a fifth strike for spreading COVID-19 misinformation. It took them until five strikes to permanently ban her on Twitter. Now, this is her personal account. Uh, now, her official congressional account is still active of its as it is writing because it hasn't run afoul of Twitter's rules. And give it time and it probably will be permanently banned. Now, a uh, Twitter spokesperson said that the, the company had been clear it would issue a permanent suspension for repeated violations of its COVID-19 misinformation uh, policy. Now, Green, who is a right-wing Republican, most frequently tweets from her handle Empty Greeny, uh, which had more than 465,000 followers. Well, not anymore. But she still has access and can tweet from her congressional account, Rep MTG, which has more than 386,000 followers. And again, give that time. She might fuck up on that part too. Now, Green has faced an escalating series of bans over her inaccurate claims. She falsely claimed in July of last year that COVID-19 wasn't dangerous unless she were over the age of 65 or older. And in August, uh, incorrectly maintained vaccines were failing against the new coronavirus Delta variant. Got you. I think that was like strike two and three, I'm guessing, or probably three and four. But again, after the third strike, you should have been like, bam, you know, you're out. So, so yes. And with all this happening, you know, people are you know, saying, you know, Twitter is stupid. So where should we go? And people are going to some app called Gitter. I think that's what it's called. And sure enough, people are going on there because of spokes. I mean, because of podcaster Joe Rogan. Like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, just I know it's like for for certain people, but at the same time, it's going. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. But what are your thoughts about that? You know, what are your thoughts about? Uh, going up against all this and everything so in some way have you seen that kind of misinformation happen from her or from anywhere that she posts but what are your thoughts about that whole thing so this last story pertains to trump well actually it pertains to his kids but it also pertains to him as well but the new york attorney general letitia james who last month subpoenaed uh, donald j trump as a part of a civil investigation into his business practices is now also seeking questioning of two of his children, uh, Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump as part of the inquiry. Now, the involvement of this whole thing with his children was disclosed in a court document filed on Monday today as the Trump organization sought, sought out to block lawyers for, uh, from the attorney general from questioning uh, the former president and his children. Whew. There is a lot going on right there. All right, cool. Now, according to a person uh, with knowing of the matter, the subpoena for the kids and Trump were served on December 1st of 2021. Again, we had a lot of good and we had a lot of bad. So there you go. Now, another one of Trump's kids, uh, Eric Trump, was questioned by Ms. James' office in October of 2020. So that's, you know, that's kind of good to hear about this. And out of all of James's effort to interview Trump came public last year, last month. Well, yeah, last month, last year. Yeah, same thing. But it wasn't sure whether or not to question the adult children. And now, you know, when Trump became president in 2017, he turned over his business to uh, his sons, Eric and uh, Donald Trump Jr., as well as the company's longtime chief financial officer, Alan H. Weisenberg, Weisenberg, I'm not sure, 
and his daughter took an office in the West Wing. West West Wing. My apologies. Now, Mrs. Cl Miss James's civil inquiry is focused on whether Trump uh, fraudulently inf inflated the value of his assets to secure bank loans and under understand them where he else to reduce his tax bill. Again, there is a lot going on with his taxes and everything along the way, and there is more to this as well. So I want to know what are you guys thoughts about this? What do you guys think would happen? What do you guys think should happen? You know, that kind of thing. But overall, again, what are your thoughts about this? If you ever saw Betty White in like a TV show or in a movie, hell, if you ever met her in real life, what is your favorite moment of her? You know, that kind of thing. What are your thoughts about uh, Marjorie getting uh, banned from Twitter? What do you guys think about this whole subpoena? Also, what else is on your mind? You know, if you watch the HBO special of the the Harry Potter uh, 20th anniversary, did you catch the mix up that they did on Emma Roberts and Emma Watson? Did you see that? You know, what were your thoughts about that? Or did you cry during the whole time? I haven't watched it yet, so no spoilers. Also, what are you guys' thoughts about uh, the whole mar like people trying to recast Black Panther? What you know, you know, after uh, Chadwick Boseman passed away, there's a lot of speculation of people saying they should recast Black Panther. So, what are your thoughts about that? Okay, but in the meantime, like, share, comment, subscribe, let people know I'm out there getting to work because that's just what I do. I try to get the words so that way you guys know what is going on, okay? But with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Be safe out there, all right? Make sure, wash your hands, wear your mask, all that kind of thing, okay? I love all you guys. Peace out.